Well, hello everybody. It's approximately 10 in the morning when I made this video, and um, we're about to go have some fun. Um, so uh, this is a new DayZ map slash mod. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe you could call it a mod of a mod. Uh, it's Overwatch, and Overwatch is uh, basically a mod for the Cherneris map for DayZ. Um, it adds a lot of extra stuff. You got some extra zombie sounds in there. Zombies are a little creepier. Uh, they are a little harder to kill. There are some zombies that uh, you can't just one-shot them or two-shot them unless you shoot them in the head, but you end up spending four shots, five shots, depending on what you're shooting. Um, but as you can see, they've also added some extra stuff in the game for vehicles. Now, there are some other vehicles. I haven't ran into them yet. This is the gyrocopter, though, and I was so excited when I found out that they had one of these things. Um, they're a little sketchy to fly, won't lie, but, um, I mean, hey, how advanced can you get with a flying lawn chair? Um, it really honestly looks like somebody put a lawn chair in there. Anyway, it's probably one of my favorite vehicles to fly, just because it's hilarious. But I wanted to show you guys kind of how to fly it, and, um, how to have a little bit of fun with it. Um... I'll give you some of the basics. This thing reminds me an awful lot of a paraglider at low speeds, uh, except more dangerous and not as predictable. And okay, well, maybe just landing it is more like it, but still. Anyway, um, now I, I found that if you press Q, you tend to go backwards a little bit when you're in an incline. I actually like to start on an incline if I can. Um, it gives me a little bit more speed, which you need for this thing. There we go. I fly all my stuff in first person, so sorry people for the, the like third person. And off we go. You need to take off at a little bit above 40. I uh, highly recommend 50 or above. Uh, if you take off at uh, eh, if you take off at 40, you can do it, but you're probably going to stall if you try to pull up too fast. So. Uh, try to try to get a little bit of extra speed in there. So we're actually going to head to the Northwest Airfield. I'll show you guys how to land this thing. Um, be sure that when you are climbing for altitude that you don't do it too quickly. If you do, watch how fast I scrub off speed. And if you get to about 40, you enter a stall. Do not want that. This thing is not maneuverable at low speeds. Um, in fact, let's just kind of show you guys how... how <laughs> not maneuverable this thing is. We're going to slow this thing down here. Alright, we're at 40. That is a stall speed. Now, I'm trying to control it, and it's hardly doing anything. I'm hard right. Okay, now i got speed, and I can bank. So, yeah, you guys need to be very careful in this thing. Don't slow down too much. Pretty much if you keep it above 40, it's somewhat controllable. Um, it does start doing this yawing a little bit when you get at higher speeds. So, kind of the sweet spot's a little bit below 140, and it'll kind of thin out. See what I mean? So, a little below 140, and above 40. So, keep it anywhere in there, and you're fine. Anyway, it's, it's pretty hilarious to fly. I, I kind of like it. It's not really maneuverable when it comes to uh, doing quick turns and stuff like that. Uh, the little bird, I think you'll find, is far more maneuverable. But, um, man, just for fun factor... You're a guy in a ghillie suit flying through Cherno in a lawn chair strapped to your back. I mean, that just doesn't get any more hilarious for me. <laughs> Do you imagine seeing a guy fly in on a lawn chair in a ghillie suit with a sniper rifle? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Anyway, alright, so there is a trick to landing this thing. Uh, I want to give it to you before we get to the airfield. So the idea is... You want to get as close to the ground as you can, scrub off as much speed as you can, which means kind of like a helicopter, you're going to pull back a little bit. Uh, you don't want to completely stall it, because if you completely stall it and you can't turn, you're going to be in deep trouble when you get close to the ground. Let's make sure I'm the only one on here right now. We're good. All right, so we're coming in. So you want to get close to the ground, start slowing down a little bit, not completely. We still want to be able to maneuver. All right. And a little bit closer. 
Okay, we're getting close to the ground. Now, you do not want to land at the speed. So the idea here is I'm going to bank it up. We're going to scrub off the speed. I'm going to come in. You're just going to just going to keep kind of dipping a little bit if you can. This thing's awfully hard to scrub off speed with without completely flaring it too far. Okay, now we're getting slow enough we can start landing. Somewhere below 50 is good. And we've touched down. There you have it. That is how you fly a gyro chapter with Overwatch. It's it's really not bad. They're pretty fun to uh, they're pretty fun to fly, really. Um, the only thing that annoys me a little bit is you have a gas can that's maybe a two gallon gas can on the actual gyro chapter. I'll get out and show you real fast. And the funny thing is, it's more like filling up a helicopter. It takes gas can after gas can after gas can, and this thing gets terrible mileage. Um, oh, I guess I shouldn't say it's as bad as filling up a helicopter. It's it's uh, it's not terrible. It's maybe half as much, it seems. But still, uh, it's not really realistic compared to the gas can level. Um, these things do get actually pretty good mileage, and they've just got a tiny motor, so if the guys in Overwatch see this, if you could adjust that, I would love you forever, because it seems a little bit unrealistic. Um, you know, I, I can't think of any way that, you know, 50, 20 liter cans fill into a, I don't know, two gallon can. Anyway, still, it's an awesome vehicle, and I'm so glad that somebody put it in there, because it is one of my favorite vehicles to drive and fly. And yes, I say drive, because if you get it up at about 50, you can kind of drive it around. Um, you can't really do that with a plane in Daisy, but you can do that with this thing. It's actually, it's kind of fun. We'll go over towards the barracks. There's nobody on the server right now, which is why I wanted to make this right now, because I can kind of dick around and show you guys without having to worry about this. Now, I haven't taken off yet. I could take off at this speed. But I'm not going to. But this is just kind of to demonstrate that it's pretty maneuverable. So if you get in a spot where you don't like it, um, you can maneuver around. Uh, flat road's going to be the best, and I highly recommend if you're going to land it. Oh, if you're going to land it in an area that you're uh, sketchy about, land uphill if you can, because it's very easy to take off downhill on this thing. I'm going to land again because I'm not ready to take off yet. Come on. Come on. Let me down. Let me down. Come on. There we go. Come on now. Come on. There we go. The other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick that I didn't really demonstrate before. Oh, we're going to get in the spot. It's going to be hard to take off, though, anyway. Come on. Well, let me just get out and show you real fast. You can rotate the aircraft, which is kind of cool. This is helpful. So if you find that you're in a position where you're just not in the right line, uh, you could... What the... Okay. That was weird. I probably got hit by the rotor. We're fine. Um, oh, yeah, the rotor doesn't kill you. How nice is that? <laughs> so you can rotate it left. Uh, the push doesn't seem to work like I thought it would. This is push aircraft, but but realistically, it just kind of pulls it back, which is I haven't. Yeah, it that's not helpful, but the rotate is very helpful. I think that's kind of nice. So if, if you get pointed off in a direction that you're just like, well, I don't know, I don't think that's going to work very good for me. You need to rotate it a little bit. Uh, in this case, we want to be rotated back towards the airfield, so we're going to go a little bit left, and back in we go, and we should be able to move forward. Yes, okay, we're good. Uh, and I highly recommend before you take off with this thing to set your map points before you take off. It can lose altitude quickly, and if you point it up a little bit and you're going up above the horizon, it is possible that you could stall the thing and you exit the map and find out you're plummeting towards the ground. Not exactly desirable. So, um... Just uh, a little word of advice. Anyway, I'm going to go get some parts for this thing and another jerry can, and I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoy the brief tutorial, and uh, enjoy your gyrocopter fun.